Okay, just wanted to give you a little update on the 120 gallon soon to be reef currently fish only with live rock. I currently added <clears throat> see if I can find them. Okay, right down here. I haven't had very good luck with these things, but it's a condylactus. Now that I've got better lighting than I had before, we'll see how that goes. He's doing all right for right now. He could use fit a little feeding, but um, I also have a. Where is he? Oh, he's put, there he is. A little lawnmower Blenny. He's shy, but uh, he's getting the hang of it. I also added this nice, pretty chunk of live rock here. There's clams on it. I don't know if we can really see it. There's one here. Come on. There it is. I don't know if it's alive, though. They're really hard to tell because they don't do anything. So, okay. I also added, and that would be, you see all these micro bubbles? Well, that's here. That is this guy breaking in. See the vortex chamber. A lot of action going on, but um, I didn't uh, follow the instructions. This is a Jibo 180. Um, I didn't wash it out before I put it in here, and there's a there is a breaking in period. If for those of you who have always wondered why does a protein skimmer need to break in, um, <clears throat> that is because the manufacturers, there's certain uh, silicones and, and oils and everything else that's basically all over the equipment from, you know, not being used or anything. So, um, basically the salt water has to clean all that off so that the micro bubbles have, can concentrate on, you know, as if they have to concentrate, but grabbing the proteins. If I lift, if I open up that collection cup up there and stick my big nose on top of that thing, you can smell it. You can smell the unmistakable smell of a protein skimmer doing what it does, but there's no foam yet. No foam, no bubbles, nothing in the collection cup. And it's sending these micro bubbles into the tank because they have nowhere else to go yet. So once that breaks in, the bubble should go away it's been up and running for almost, uh, well, tonight it would be 48 hours, they say 48 to 72 before they start working. And this is a, an established tank. The old skimmer was really kicking out gunk. So as soon as it breaks in, it should be working good. And I'll keep updating as we go. And uh, next step is probably some coral. I'm also going to do a water change video tomorrow. So, till next time.